The Midwest and the Northeast have been getting their fair share of winter these past few weeks, with the Northeast getting pounded with some of the biggest snowfall amounts in history, and it's all creating some pretty amazing natural phenomena. Oh yes! 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 We got it, baby! We got it! We got it! Woo! Woo! We got it! Yes! Listen to that! That's what's commonly known as thunder snow, similar to the more common thunderstorm, but with snow. AccuWeather explains it's all about instability, which is why it's so rare in the winter. The air near the ground needs to be warmer than the air aloft, yet cold enough to produce snow. This happens when storms intensify rapidly. Thunder snow, just like thunderstorms, are associated with heavier precipitation. One study from 2002 suggested thunder snow usually coincides with about six or more inches of snowfall. The lightning at night may well appear brighter because it's reflected by the snowflakes, but the snowflakes may muffle the sound of the thunder. But this winter's troubles are stretching further than just snow and thunder snow. Freezing rain and sleet are also affecting the masses. The difference between freezing rain and sleet is that freezing rain is rain when it hits the ground, while sleet is more like pellets of ice coming down. Freezing rain freezes on any surface that's 32 degrees or colder, meaning roadways, sidewalks, and more can be especially dangerous to maneuver on. Winter in the Northern Hemisphere ends March 19th. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.